One tool that is often used to be able to integrate your application with others is webhooks. And BuddyBase allows you to listen for and create your own webhooks. So let's add an automation based on a webhook. I'll create my automation. I'll call this create record from webhook. And this time I'll click on webhook as my trigger and save. Now I get a schema URL and a trigger URL. So I click on setup. I click here, it tells us about, a little bit about those triggers from the documentation, and we get this schema. So I can use an API client to be able to send here, and I'm going to have a couple of things. I have a date, which is going to be a string, and reason, which is also going to be a string. I'm going to send. So my schema has been set. And now I can post. And I'm going to use my trigger URL to be able to do that. Okay, if I try to do it now, so if I do a date of say 2022 um, 0901 and reason um, sore head and send, I see my application has not yet been deployed. And so that's a lot like every other automation that we've looked at until we've deployed it, it's not able to do anything. So let's go back. Let's add another step. And we want to create a row based on our webhook. So we'll click create row and we'll save. We'll add an appointment. We'll add, instead of use values, we'll use bindings. For our date, we'll have trigger.body and we're going to have dot date and save. And then from the reason, we'll have trigger.body and we'll have dot reason and we'll save. We'll finish and test our automation and we'll do it for, with a JSON form this time. And we'll use this same JSON object here and we'll send it. Okay, testing it says, hey, we got that. We got our output and we have then the object that was created. Let's publish this and then from our API, let's change it. So let's do a date for the 10th or the 1st of October rather. Instead of sore head this time, let's say, um, we have a sore toe and we'll send webhook trigger fired successfully. Now, if we go back to our data layer, check appointments, we can find the October the 1st, 2022, and we have our sore toe. So now from a webhook, this could be in any application we have. It could be a CLI tool. It could be another web application that we're sending to our buddy base application. It's then creating our rows. As always, we don't have to have one step. We could increase the number of steps. We could add other things. We could send an email, say thanks for your appointment. We could in use Integromat or Zapier to be able to integrate further and have more automations triggered from this webhook.